Hello everyone. In this video, let us see what are the options which are available for fill patterns in Excel and how to use fill patterns for different use cases. If I wanted to use fill pattern for the date, let me enter date and highlight date in yellow and also I will give some room over here. Today's date is 4th August 2024. I will enter the date for today and the date has been entered if i wanted to check the format if the format is correct for the date then i can select the format if i don't like this format then i can choose the format whichever which i wanted so i'll select this format which is good and also there is another option to change the format from here itself so I'll click on the drop down button here and I'll select the short date or long date. I'll select short date. If I wanted to select long date, then it will be like this. So I'll change the format again. I will use the format. This is okay. And if I wanted to fill the dates in series, I can simply drag the mouse cursor which has turned to plus. I can simply drag by selecting the mouse cursor and I will be able to fill the dates in series. Now you will be able to see the dates has been filled in series. Till 20th the date has been filled. If I continue to drag then it will continue to fill the dates in series and again it will continue for the next month as well. For September. So this is for the date. If I wanted to do the same thing for the weekdays, then I'll format this. All I need to do is I need to enter Monday and if I drag the cursor, it will automatically fill the weekdays in series. From Monday to Sunday, again Monday to Sunday. If you wanted to continue, then let me say today, today is 4th August, which is Sunday. Then I'll start from Sunday till September 7th. So it is matching with the date what we have selected. If I wanted to fill months in series, then I will enter months format here January. I need to simply drag the cursor, it will automatically fill. So I'll delete this. So you got the months in series starting from January to December. If I wanted to fill all the odd numbers, then what I can do is I will just format. Yeah, it is already formatted. I'll just so simply by entering one, Excel will not automatically fill all the odd numbers. Let us say you have entered one, and if you drag the mouse cursor, it will not fill all the odd numbers. See, it has populated with one itself because Excel doesn't have the information about the odd numbers. So it doesn't have the pattern to fill the odd numbers properly. So what we have to do is we need to give Excel enough number of data. So the data will be like, so I'll enter the next number, which is three. And I will highlight both these numbers. Drag the numbers using the mouse cursor. Now you will be able to see Excel will automatically populate all the odd numbers. So now it has given you all the odd number information. If I wanted to do the same thing for even numbers, then I need to give enough information for the Excel to fill the data automatically for the even numbers. So I'll start with 2. If I drag, it is not going to auto populate. What I have to do is I have to enter another number so that Excel will understand what I am looking for. I am basically looking for even numbers. So I need to select both the numbers 
then simply highlight and drag the mouse cursor now excel will automatically fill all the even numbers now you have all the even numbers which has been automatically populated so this way you will be able to fill date in series weekdays in series month and you can also calculate odd and even numbers as well thank you for watching the video if you like the content please subscribe and share the video thank you and take care